Revelation 14 presents a vision of two distinct harvests, one of a golden grain that symbolizes the righteous, and other of a gory grapes that represent the unrighteous or the lost. It is significant to note that both harvests are described as being fully ripe, implying that the final judgment of humanity is imminent. The image of a harvest is a common metaphor used in the Bible to depict the judgment of God upon humanity. In this context, every seed has been, that has been sown is fully matured. That is, sin has reached its limit. Rebellion has crossed the line of God's mercy. As evil and bad as sin has been, it's going to get even worse before it's all over. Every person's deeds and decision has led them to this critical moment in history. A loving God has done everything he could do for us, which include offering himself on the cross for our sins. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. The harvest of the golden grain represents the righteous, indicate those who have followed God's command and live a life of righteousness will be rewarded. Conversely, the harvest of the gory grapes, symbolizing unrighteous or the lost, implies that those who have rejected God's way and live a life of wickedness will face the consequences of their action. This imagery highlight the importance of living a life of righteousness and faithfulness to God. The fact that both harvests are fully ripe indicate that there is no more time for repentance or redemption. The faith of every person is sealed. The judgment of God is final. The cross is the ultimate expression of God's love for us. He offered himself as a sacrifice for our sin. But what more could he have done? Despite his love, grace, there are those who continue to reject. However, there is a good news. You have the power to choose today to be part of the first harvest, representing the righteous. With Jesus, your life can be filled with hope and purpose and with meaning. Choosing him today, experience the abundance of life he offers. And that is the nugget. Thank you for joining us for the nugget today. I will see you tomorrow.